The Bleacher Report put out a list of the 10 most anticipated college football rematches for this coming season. And the reason I'm bringing this up, there's a ton of these articles that come out this time of year. It's list season, it's bracket season, all that good stuff. We're into March, and we'll talk about college basketball in just a second for a little bit. But uh, but this article, they've got a list of 10, and I wanted to go through each one very quickly and just gauge your interest in a rematch, as in how interested are you in this? Is it really one of the most anticipated rematches of the season We'll start off with number 10, Oklahoma State at Baylor on October 1st. Uh, are you, like, is that one of the top 10 most anticipated rematches? Um, Yeah, I, I would say so. I But I like both of these teams. I like both these coaches. And and I think they're going to be really interesting to watch. So I mean, it, it, it was I a mean, fantastic. I, could, I would say that. But, it, like, the, the yeah. first matchup between these two was 24-14. to 14. Uh, Oklahoma State walloped them in Stillwater. Now the Big Twelve. I mean, title this game, is an Alabama Ohio State, so you know agreed. there are a lot of people that only watch national games that probably wouldn't care about this matchup. But I actually I like it. I like it a lot. No, no, I think it, I think it will be a good matchup. I just wonder is it it's a it's a conference matchup? Like, is it really one of the most anticipated? Because it, I know that the Big Twelve title game was great. Uh, I just wonder, you know, what exactly is the and this is number ten for a reason. Right, so let's move on. Number nine, Stanford at Oregon on October first. Do you have any desire to watch? <laughs> Hell, and nobody else does either. By the way, right? Nobody. This is we have to put something from the Pac-12 in here. We can't if we're if they're going to continue to keep them as a Power Five, we have to keep writing about them like they're a Power Five. That's it. That's bullshit. Yeah, this and don't get me wrong. Stanford won thirty-one to twenty-four in overtime last year. Uh, Thibodeau was out. Uh, Flo was out. Like all, they, there was a lot that Oregon was dealing with. But also, that was like a once, uh, once a season kind of game for Stanford and, and for Oregon mainly. Like Oregon had to play really, really bad. Stanford had to play really, really well. Uh, Stanford ended up three and nine last season. Like this was their yeah, last one of the year. There's nothing. There's nothing interesting about that game at all. Like yeah. I said, this is sports writers blowing smoke at the Pac, uh, the Pac-12 because they understand I have to keep writing about them like they're a Power Five program. If we don't, then then the rest of the world will stop believing they're a Power Five program because they're not. Yeah, they only believe it because we keep telling them that. Number eight here is Texas versus Oklahoma. Uh, yes, the Red River shootout was fantastic last season, but uh, I don't know that this one belongs on like a anticipated rematches. I know that it's a rematch, but this game's good every year. Like, it, so it should either be really, really high on the list or just not on the list because it'll make all the other well, list of like best games, right? Well, yeah. I mean, it's like this is like okay. With now, now you're putting the Red River shootout on there. I, like, okay, I'm assuming that the game is on there. I'm assuming that the Iron Bowl is on there. I'm assuming that the Egg Bowl. Yep. Okay, all right. So all the so we've got a couple of good games that we didn't normally think we would. You know, you just don't get year in year out. Oklahoma, uh, uh, State, Baylor, right? Like, I get that. And, and now we're just going to put a bunch of big rivalries on there. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like a weird list, right? Uh, number seven here is Penn State at Auburn on September 17th, and that one could be interesting. Uh, I don't know what now, Auburn's going to be, but yeah, this, this is, is what I'm expecting this list to be. By the way, right? Like, I, I was not expecting conference games in this list when when I saw it. Exactly. That's uh, that was my thing. Like, and and you could throw in some conference games, right? So, like number six here is Texas A and M at Alabama, uh, because there was the upset last year, all that good stuff. Like Texas A and M got the number one recruiting class. This looks like it could be a battle, right? That it kind of makes sense, maybe. Um. But, you know, then you you move to number five and you got Oklahoma State at Oklahoma. At, okay, Bedlam. Like, that's kind of one of the top ten games every year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So the only time that Oklahoma's interesting to watch at all, ever, is when they're playing one of the big rivals. Yeah. Good. Now, now we know. We'll tune in twice a year. Congratulations. Number four, they've got Michigan State at Michigan, uh, which – that makes All sense. Right. I mean, last year was great, but the, I don't think so we're having the same conversation. Yeah, they're, they're going to be a shell of themselves so this Michigan, year. So. Michigan's got two great rivalry games a year, and you should watch both of them. Okay, yes. Move on. Number three is the not Iron Bowl. <laughs> it's yep. just, not a story at all. comical. Uh, number two. Now, this one, this one's interesting. 
Ole Miss at Arkansas. I, I yeah. like this that because that was a now hell of a cooking. game last year, and you've got it changes in in uh, coaching staffs. Both of them heading into their third seasons, and they have firmly established the foundation of what they want their programs to be. I think it'll be another fascinating football game again. So that one makes sense at number two, right? Uh, but I'll tell you this, though. This has, since Lane's gotten there, and historically, by the way, take out some of those Matt Luke years, take out some of those just got, but hell, even some of those got off Arkansas years. This is historically one of the most exciting SEC games of the year. It really is. It really is. I mean, they never play a normal football game, ever. <laughs> no. Like, it's always wild. It's always crazy. It always comes down to some wild-ass play at the end or in overtime to win the football game or a team to do something to lose the football game. I mean, that's just it. No, I think this one's going to be great. It's in Fayetteville. It's going to be a lot of fun. You know the Hog fans are going to be fired up for it. So, yes, I uh, I like this a lot. And then number one, Michigan at Ohio State. A- after all the trash talking for Michigan, I, it, it does make sense. But, man, it feels weird being on a, a rematch list, right? It's, it's just not. It's just not. So, I saw a list this weekend that was like the top ten rivalries in college sports, right? And they had to do sports because they wanted a reason to put Duke and North Carolina on the list. Of course. That's, that's the only reason the list existed, by the way, because the rest of them were all college football rivalries. And they right, had Duke, North Carolina, number two. They, 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 were doing they, that for, uh, number, they were doing that for Coach K, right? Yeah, for Coach yeah. K. So, so they had the game number one, and then they had the Iron Bowl number three. And, and I correctly, I thought, b- believe, by the way, pointed out that, I, look, I'm not an Alabama fan. I'm just not. I, I could care less about Auburn. Auburn is the enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's my philosophy with them. Um, but here's the deal, okay? You have two fan bases that every year throughout the entire state of Alabama, there has to be PSAs to not murder, not your enemy, not people you hate, your family and friends that pull for the other school. And every year, somebody gets murdered because of the football game, okay? So not using the letter M for a week, Ohio State, I'm sorry, just doesn't move the needle for me in hatred of rivalry, all right? Now, I'm not saying that Alabama or Auburn fans should be proud of that, but if you're going to make a list of, like, the most hated rivalries, the biggest rivalries in college sports, and you don't start with the Iron Bowl, I'm going to need some pretty damning evidence for the other opinion. Okay? Agreed. Because, Agreed. Because if you just don't use the letter M for a week, I, I, that that ain't going to cut the mustard. No, the, the shit-talking back and forth between these two programs it happens every year, right? And it happens all the time. But does it really? Well, but here's the thing. Like, on, it, it only happens when you have a, a, an animated coach, all right? You yeah. went decades with Michigan having kind of classic, stoic Michigan men that didn't say anything. And this rivalry was pretty boring. It was pretty dull. Well, it same, was when, same when Trestle was the coach. Historic. Yeah. Yes. Well, Ohio State's the same thing. But Jim Harbaugh throws in there, and he don't give a rip about nothing. He's going to tell you what he thinks. And he thinks that son of a bitch on the other side was born on third base and thinks he hit a triple. And guess what? That ain't going to fly in his boat. He's going to call it out, and he's going to say some shit about it. He don't care. (laughs) Michigan ain't had a coach that made it interesting in a long time. But they have for the past five, six years, or however long he's been there. And now it's interesting. But it's not like it's been that way for the last 30 years. Let's not get that confused. Agreed. Agreed. You're 100% right. So, yeah, this this list was a little... A little strange. Uh, they they had some good ones on here, but uh, you know it, it feels a little cheap with going back to the well with the Iron Bowl and Michigan State at Michigan and whatever else, right? Like I, it, I bet if I bet if you and I spent the weekend just trying to figure out, looking at the schedule and seeing games that aren't regularly played, they could be conference games. But I'm looking at conference games like you know LSU rarely plays uh, you know South Carolina, so if we play South Carolina and they upset us, and then we have to go to South Carolina for the rematch, like, 
that should be on the list. Games like that should be the conference games that we're talking about. You know, yes. the games that aren't regularly special games. Agreed. Agreed. This is already a special game. What are we doing? Like, you're just wasting paper. You're, this, this is somebody had a had an assignment and they had to get three thousand words, and and so they just made something. Well, and, and they got us talking about it, so I will I will give them that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.